Hey guys, today I got a few things to do. The main priority, well Nova's excited to be outside in the snow. Main priority here is to get the winter grill cover on the Dodge, so that's what I'm gonna start with. Gonna collect the chicken eggs, feed them some grains, and uh, oh, it's locked. Feed them some grains, and maybe even snow blow some of the snow away, cause chickens hate the snow. At least mine do. I might have the odd one or two that straggles out. The ducks, turkeys, peacocks, they don't mind hanging out in the snow. But the chickens hate it. But anyway, before we get to that, winter grill cover. Fairly easy thing to install on the old truck. I did a video on how to install it from scratch, if you're interested in uh, seeing that. But today I'm just going to throw this on here quickly. The only uh, real thing I have to do is take off the license plate uh, and mount it on the front of the cover. What's going on Nova? Are you excited to be outside? You like the snow? Well that's good. Nova's our new little Great Dane around here. She's six months old. Full of energy, runs around a lot like crazy. And she's going on a big rip right now. I don't know how she has energy still though because I had her out for the past hour and she's still going strong. Hey Nova. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Okay, grill cover. There we go. That's better. Give this a good tug down. Make it nice and tight. Nice and tight. Okay. Do up the license plate now. Two screws left and we'll be done. I got tamper proof Torx on here. And I got the wrong size Torx. Last one. All right. Put that down there. Snap in a few snaps. Oh, that was a tough one. Okay, put our plate back on. Even though I'm gonna have to take it off here shortly. Put my sticker on. It's overdue. Grill cover installed. The only thing that sucks after putting this on is that it takes up the gap of your secondary latch on your hood and when you come to pop it, it's, I don't know, for me anyway, it's hard to open. Let's give these chickens some grains here. These grains are from a friend down the road. He brews his own beer. When he's done with his grains, he gives them to me, so that's great. Of course, nobody's outside. Like I said, they hate the friggin' snow. <clears throat> but once they know this is here, they might come out. Hey, Nova. That green's a little bit frozen. Oh, there we go. 
Anybody coming out? No? Doesn't look like it. Well, I'll throw the rest of these grains in the garage. At least keep them from freezing. And Nova likes to eat them too. Let's get the snowblower, buddy. Things are going a lot faster than I thought they would. I just gotta put some fuel in the snowblower here before I fire it up. Have you guys seen these things? These fuel transfer pumps? These things are awesome. Everybody should have one of these. I'm so sick of lifting these containers up and getting a funnel and spill, but it's battery powered. And that's all there is to it. It's like a little mini drum pump. So handy. They're only like 20 bucks too from the Amazonians. Okay, just like that, we're full. Didn't even spill a drop. Highly recommend these things. They're called pocket pumps or I don't know. But you have to watch because they sell a version that doesn't pump gasoline. It just pumps more kerosenes and liquids like that. You got to get one of those. <clears throat> Funny story about the snowblower. It had it given to me. It wouldn't start. And uh, the electric starter is pretty much burnt out on it from trying to start it. So I got it home. I couldn't even pull this thing over if I tried. So I took the recoil off and it actually, the mice had been in there. They made a huge nest inside the recoil down here. So it pretty much seemed like it was seized. I haven't fired this thing up yet at all this year. I, don't, I think I used it last year. Give it some chokes anyway and give it a pull. That's where the electric start would come in handy. Basically what I did was just remove a lot more snow. Temperatures are supposed to warm up in a couple days. It's supposed to rain. So the snow will melt and uh, give more room to run around and have a bit of grass to walk on because they do not like to walk on the snow, like I said earlier. A few of them did come out though for a little snack. My boy Jake. The turkey. I'm not sure where the peacocks are. Nova, how do you have so much energy still? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's collect the eggs, buddy. Nova likes to chase the chickens around, but the only bird that she won't chase is the old turkey here. He actually puts the chase to her, don't you, buddy? Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. Okay, eggs. 
Well, we got a couple of colors here. It's not too bad for today. It's definitely slowed down quite a bit. And we got about a dozen and a half or so. Right, buddy? No, but you don't bug him. He'll peck your eye out. Well, I guess that's it. That's about all I can do for today. I got a little bit more tailing to do over there for a new greenhouse we have for next year. Because the flower, cut flower business is always expanding like crazy. That's a great business. But yeah, snow covered. I gotta go and pick up some logs for the processor so we can get some firewood going. Got the tractor and blower hooked up yesterday, so that's good to go. Gonna pull some more stuff out of the garden and take that stuff to the dump. But yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for coming along today. Let me know if your chickens like the snow or not. I know some of them do, like some of mine will come out actually, but uh, for the majority, 95% of them will not touch foot in the snow. But like I said earlier, the ducks, peacocks, turkeys, the goose, guineas, they don't care. They'll come out in the snow. I guess that's it for today, guys. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you in the next video.